happy Easter. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is a very special day, actually the most important day of the church year where we celebrate Easter and remember that God's love can overcome anything, that death was not the end of the story for Jesus. And to help us in this celebration today, I would like to share with you from the Spark Story Bible, the story of that first Easter morning. It goes something like this. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus had died. And the sky was still pink and red with that first light of the sun. But the women that day didn't notice the sky. They had hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body because they had a job to do. And they took with them some spices and oils to help preserve his body. Now, when that tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh, they had forgotten about that huge stone that is used to cover the doorway of a tomb. How could they move it to get into it? So the women kept going anyway. And as they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Brr, and it's cold in there like a cave and drip and drop. It was damp and cold. But what else? The tomb was empty. An angel suddenly appeared in dazzling, sparkling clothes. And the glow from the angel, it brightened the darkest corners of the cave. The women, shield, the women had shielded their eyes from that blinding light. And the angel said to them, don't be afraid. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. But Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go and tell the disciples. And the women didn't delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oh, <laughs> suddenly Mary bumped into a, a man. and She tripped and she fell at his feet. But wait, she knew those feet. And a familiar hand reached out to help her. And she looked up and the man smiled and she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive, and the women hugged his feet and shouted with joy, and Jesus said, go and tell the good news. Go and tell the good news that I am alive, and I will meet them in Galilee, and I can't wait to see them again. The women knew they had a job to do. They had to tell every, they had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive. Thanks for listening to my story this morning. I wonder what you would have done in that moment, how you would have felt looking in that dark tomb only to discover Jesus wasn't there. And then to meet the angel and then to know that you had to go and tell that exciting, happy, wonderful news that Jesus was alive. I wonder where you find yourself in that story. I wonder what you think the most important part, part of that story is. I wonder what God is saying to us in this Easter story. Good questions to think about this special day. Happy Easter. Hello, and welcome to Sunday School. Today is a very special Sunday School. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter. In church on Easter Sunday, you may hear something like this. The Lord has risen, and then you say back, he has risen indeed. So let's try that. The Lord has risen. Now it's your turn. Yes, it's your turn to say, he has risen indeed. One more time. 
the Lord has risen. He has risen indeed. You know, Easter Sunday is a very special day. It's the biggest day on the church calendar. It's really special. And it's because Jesus rose from the dead on this day. And so in today's lesson, we're going to learn all about that. And we're going to sing a song and do an activity that's all around Jesus rising from the dead and Easter Sunday. In some churches, they light the Christ candle for the first time since the beginning of that season that we just went through called Lent. That six weeks where some churches, they don't light the Christ candle. And so we're going to light our Christ candle today to remind us of Jesus' presence with us today and with us at all times. So let's do that. If you have a candle at home, you can light your candle along with me. And our Christ candle is lit for Easter Sunday. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for Easter. Thank you for inviting us to be part of your family. Bless us today in our Sunday school lesson. We give thanks to you. We pray you bless my family, my friends, my parents, teachers, and coaches. Be with us this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Enjoy your Sunday school lesson. There was once a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people followed him and they would say, who are you? And he would answer, I am the light. This week for our Easter craft, we're going to make a craft that hopefully you can use every week when we worship together, when we light our candle, that will remind us of the love of Jesus in a candle. So the things you're going to need is a glass jar. Maybe you have one of these mason jars sitting around. We use them for jam at our house. We're almost out of last year's jam, so we're, we've got lots of jars. And then a little bit of white glue that is half water, a paintbrush, stir it all together. And then hopefully you have some old birthday tissue paper laying around in your house. I have lots of colors that I've cut up into little tiny squares. Well, maybe like two inch squares, not little tiny. And then I also have a tea light. These ones are really neat because they're safe. So these are battery operated and I can turn them on to have light when I need them or turn them off to save the light for when I need it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this tissue paper maybe in these bright spring colors. And we're gonna use it to glue this tissue paper onto our jars. This is a little bit fun and a little bit sticky. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is cover the jar first about halfway with glue. Paint it on. And then when that's done, you can put the tissue paper on and you wanna lay it down and you can even overlap it a little bit. See how I did that? Overlap it and get it to go down around the edges. Don't worry too much if it all sticks because we're going to do another step in a minute. If you have them overlapping, you can add a little bit more glue on the bottom layer to get them to overlap better. And you can go on to the other side. This side's still empty. I wonder if you had any chocolate this morning. Easter's one of those special days where you get to have chocolate for breakfast or jelly beans. Okay, and you can cover the bottom too if you want. And if you're covering the bottom, you can start like this with the mouth side down to let it dry completely when you're done. I wonder if you have tissue paper that's your favorite color. I haven't put very much blue on here, but blue is my favorite color. 
these colors of the spring always remind me of hope and new life and the flowers that start to bloom. Maybe you remember some of your Sunday school friends' favorite colors. You can add them and think of them too when you light this candle. Or family members. God created all these wonderful colors for us to see and celebrate. Okay, and when you've finished covering your entire jar as, as much as you want, you can add layers if you want. You're gonna cover it with another layer of your glue mixture. And you wanna do that because it'll help protect the paper from pulling away over time. And this will make it last a really long time. Hopefully we'll get to see each other in person before this ever breaks on you or starts to fade colors. There you go. And when it's all dry, maybe you can write something on it with one of these Sharpie markers, the permanent kind of black markers. I think I wanna write, I am the light on mine. Mine's not dry enough to do that yet. And then you can set your candle in and the glue will dry very clear. You'll be able to see the light through the sides of your jar. And we can remember the love of Jesus on Easter and in any of our lessons. Isn't that pretty? Try it at night or in a dark room. Happy Easter, friends.